Hello everyone, long time no see. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like riding a bike. You've stopped doing a video for a bit and you sort of don't want to get back on. Um, <laughs> but I have, uh, I, you know, it's been a couple of three weeks, something like that, a couple of weeks. Um, I haven't been doing nothing. I've been doing a lot of filming. I have got some editing done um, for this video. It is, of course, as you can see by down here, we are on Spooky. It's uh, TK Maxx Halloween haul. Um, I've been to a few TK Maxx's. There's going to be at least three videos coming out very soon. I've got this one, some other shops I went to, and then I'm going to do a haul of things that I've purchased from people in some of the TK Maxx groups and Halloween groups on Facebook. Um, because some of the things are really hard to get. Um, yeah, we're, we're dealing with scalpers this year that are going in and just clearing the shelves of things. And they're ending up, you know, a £10 item on, or £9.99 item on uh, TK Maxx is ending up at 30 35 quid on eBay within a few days. So, yeah, finding stuff isn't quite so easy this year. So, and I've got the mystery curtain. It may flap in, it may flap out, I don't know, whatever. It's been really hot at times doing this as well. So, let's crack on to the first store. Hiya, I'm at a home sense just outside Nottingham and uh, I'm gonna go and have a quick look and then I'm gonna go off to a TK Maxx which is just up the road and have a quick look and then I'm going home. It is ridiculously hot and sitting in this car is hot so I'm, I'm gonna get around if I can video anything I will if not I'll just take photos because there's a lot of kids running about now because it's school holidays and you know I like to be a bit careful anyway um I'll see you on the other side <laughs> been less than half an hour I've just got back into the car I've been in here oh 30 seconds this is so hot this is this is, my skin feels like it's burning 
I can't breathe, there's no air. Please do not leave animals in cars in this heat. Leave them at home. Okay, right, you've seen the walkthroughs of three stores. Quite a lot of stuff in some of them, some not so much. Um, one of the first stores I went to, I literally got a pair of sunglasses because it was so hot and sunny. That was where I had a bit of a shout about the dogs and cars. I, that, was, that was really horrible, that getting into the car and you just feel like you're burning. I had to say something at the time and it was you know one of the first hot days we'd had in, in ages anyway so from <coughs> excuse me I've oh I've touched that again I've also got a bit of a funny throat I am having the tests I don't think it's anything too serious but I've got to have the test to see so if I cough please excuse me one of the first things I got was this little fella he was five ninety nine. I think now I'm not gonna waste money. There is hundreds of gonks this year and some of them are so beautiful, the bats and pumpkins and things with acorns and you know, sort of autumnal ones. They're all sort of knitted like this with a they're pretty simple and with a sort of a I don't know, sort of bean base or something. Oh I'm sorry, this curtain's gonna attack this. And it's just a bit too hot today to <laughs> not have the window open. Um, it's either that or we put the fan on and that's even worse. So, okay. If you get seasick, just <laughs> scroll through it. So he was 5 99 He's really lovely, but, you know, he's not anything majorly special, but he's not huge. And he can sit uh, with some of my other bits and pieces. I could have spent, oh, I mean, this is five ninety nine. Some of them go up to like twelve ninety nine. You could easily spend a couple of hundred quid just on these pretty knitted gonks. And yeah, it's not worth doing that because I don't have that sort of money. <laughs> and I don't think a lot of people do, but he's nice. I got him. Now, if you are concerned that this is all Halloween stuff, no, it's not. I came away with a, a peach nectarine. OK, 
candle. Really, really pleased with this. It's a single wick. I have burnt it already. It's pretty good. It smells absolutely amazing. I will review that. But yes, it's lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. I like the ombre jar with that. And that was $5.99. Oh, before I forget, uh, we were talking about the weird thing that sat up there. That Here it is. It is a torch. <laughs> um, I still haven't got any batteries for it. But it's a mag light torch. You can see on there it says. Is it? Mag light. In beautiful purple. So yeah, that's what it was. Nothing sinister. It's things I got. I had last year, um, there was a witch, a werewolf and a uh, Dracula. Um, this year they had three of these um, little nutcrackers. And this one had the vampire family in it. I'll try not to get the light in that too much. You can see the curtain. This one had the three different witches. Green hair, orange hair and black hair. And this one had a Dracula, a witch and a skeleton. I like my ceramics, as you know. I ended up with two of these bowls. Oh, sorry, these were $6.99 a pack. This was $6.99 as well. And I got two of these. These are made in Portugal, which is actually nice to see. There's a hell of a lot of stuff is made in China. Uh, these, I never got the mug. I'll see if I can hunt down the mug. But, um, I mean, these are sort of like little serving bowls. Or you could even have them as little pasta bowls or chilli or something like that. You know, chilli con carne with rice or something in there. To match the pasta bowl or serving bowl, whatever, I got two of these plates. Because there's only two of us. There's no point in buying a whole, again made in Portugal and these were $2.99 it really isn't any point in us having a huge dinner set of this it will just be for us and probably not used very often along with that I was really lucky to find two of these now these are the haunted house uh, plates they do serving bowl, dinner plates and cereal bowl. These are $2.99 and they're made by an English company called Royal Stafford. And they do actually have them on their website and they're so pretty look you got the little pumpkin down there and the witch there and the ghost is. I think there's something under the up there under the label but Again, and the pumpkins around the edge. Again, it's very much like if you watched my videos last year, I had the apothecary side plate and bowl, which I've been displaying. I only got the one, I could only get the one, uh, which I've been displaying in my cabinet downstairs. And Again, Royal Stafford never saw any other bits. I know some people managed to get a full dinner service of six of the side plates, the dinner plates, and the cereal dessert bowl last year. All I saw was one bowl and two plates. Two plates? Four plates, maybe. I can't remember now. But I, I thought, yeah, somebody else will need the plates. One bowl, one plate. I'll display it. That's absolutely fine. Um, but I like the Royal Stafford stuff because it is um, Halloween-y and it's made here. Now this isn't 
uh, specifically Halloween, it's more autumnal. And you may remember last year, and I'll try and put a picture up here of my lovely fox that I purchased in blue. And I really, really liked that. And that's been sitting in my bed, um, not in my bedroom. It's been sitting in the bathroom uh, all year. At first, himself thought it was an owl, so regarded it as an owl. And I said, where do you find an owl with a tail with a white tip? Um, so, <laughs> he just, uh, so now he's got used to that being a fox. I've confused him a bit more now. I found this other little fox. Now, I could only find it in orange. But he's a little autumnal sort of fox. And he's a vase. And he's great for, I'm at the moment, growing sweet peas. You all right there, little man? Um, and it's a great little thing for having sweet peas in. Because you don't need to have loads in. And, and that was... Four nights, sorry, blooming curtain. Either have a storm or do nothing. One or the other, please. Um, Four ninety nine. Wasn't too bad. And again, it's China. I always like to get a pumpkin, proper pumpkin, even if it's glass one or a ceramic one. And I got this. You may have seen it in the video. It was the only one there. It's the only one I've seen, actually. It shines a lot, sorry. Um, but it's got... You can see yourselves there. Ooh. Interesting. Um, it's got... Sorry, I'm being stupid, am I? Um, it's got these lovely moons and stars on it. Uh, in a sort of rose gold colour, which I don't mind top could have been in rose gold i don't i'm not gold is not my color i'd prefer things always been silver but the rose gold's nice i'm just a bit ashamed about that but it again is a ceramic made in china but it was 4.99 <sighs> cushions my goodness, if you've been following any of the TK Maxx stuff or looking on the website or going there yourself, my goodness, the cushions they've had this year are unbelievable. They've had some really amazing cushions. Uh, there's been some that have come back that were there last year or two years ago. And I bought actually another one. I'll take a photograph of it and insert it, but I've decided to sell it because while I like it, I don't love it. And I haven't got enough chairs. <laughs> and there's been a girl on one of the, the groups that has been absolutely calling out for one and just nobody's helped her with it at all. And I thought, well, look, I don't entirely love it. It's okay. It's sat in my room for a couple of weeks and I won't miss it. Um, so that's going to go in here and uh, yeah, that I, I bought it, but I've sold that one on. I sold it for retail. I will never, ever charge any more than I've paid for it. Um, and I suggest you be a bit careful too, because there are some scalpers out there that are charging ridiculous amounts of money. But I did get another couple of cushions. This one, uh, now I know I'm a goth and all that. Well, not really a goth because I sort of got white more blonde hair white hair it's not white hair is it and why is this going to focus hello hello what's happening I appear to be out of focus it's not auto focusing <gasps> what's happening That's better. That's better. Okay. So I bought this one. It's nine ninety nine. I just oh excuse my hair. I just think this is so pretty. They had some other ones, but 
Whilst black is always sort of, I'm looking at the wrong place again, sorry, I've got to get back used to this. While black is always considered sort of goth and Victoriana and things, also white is a very Victorian thing used in the right way. And this is so pretty. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if there's one on the screen. It's a blue cushion with these beautiful blue flowers and this white pumpkin. And that is such, to me, that's such a statement cushion and it's very soft. Um, and that sits on a chair next to the bed. That gold one, in fact. <laughs> and it's, it's just there, it's just there to be cushion and I like I just <laughs> reminds me of winter the white and the blue and the anemones and it's just lovely so yes I bought that one <laughs> oh my word go away go away it's got a life of its own. <laughs> I mightn't be able to get this one on fully, but I did get uh, one of these. These are the moon phase cushions. Can you see that? It's so pretty. On the back there. Just that but. They have a long cushion, which this one sits at the end of the bed. And this was, oh, I've forgotten to tell you, haven't I? It's expensive. $16.99. Now, I got one of these, which I've been after for so long. This is um, a relaxing head massager. Uh, it was... $3.99 and you do this it, it's really weird but very nice actually you just sort of put it on there Ooh. Ooh. it's really lovely you just sort of gently not spike yourself in the head, but gently just push it down. And it's just really relaxing. I, I've always wanted... Oh, look in the wrong place. I'm a hopeless, aren't I? Right, yes, so... Always wanted to have one of these. And it was sat there at the till. Three ninety nine. I thought I'm going to get that. That is a real treat. So it feels so. You only have to do it once or twice, and you just feel relaxed. <laughs> now the other two things from this particular phase of shopping that I did. I think it was the only two things. It is only two things. Now I like nutcrackers. As you know, I've got the small ones, but I also got a couple of big ones. Now, if you don't like nutcrackers, well, you know, this one, she's got a little cat there and she's got a green hair. And yeah, she was expensive at 9.99. But they will sit either side of the fireplace. Um, oh, I say they because it's <laughs> Here's another one. Hello. Are you storm sniffing again? He sniffs out storms. He's got quite deaf now. He can't hear thunder anymore. Which it used to drive him absolutely crazy. But he can smell storms and rain and things coming. So he sort of sniffs. Here he is. Here is the Dracula. It's, uh, that's all a bit wonky bit wonky but yes so there's a Dracula with a house at the bottom again 
same price, $9.99. And yeah, as I say, so they'll sit either side of the fireplace over the Halloween period because I have some for Christmas. It's a little bit, it's a thing at the back's a little bit wobbly, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's fine. He's fine. No right track. Okay, so that is so far the haul. I have got a few more bits and pieces. I bought a few more things from other TK Maxxes. Not much. And I've also got, which I'll do a video of some of the things that I've purchased through the Facebook groups as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. And you're going to enjoy having some bit more spookiness. And for those people that like candles and oh, curtain candles and bits and pieces, um, yeah, they're they're coming. Don't don't worry. I'm just got to get back into it. And you know, we've all been there. Until next time. Stay safe, look after each other, and a happy Halloween hunting.